Hey y'all, it's, uh, it's Shujin. I was reminded about something that uh, happened in history 40 years ago this week. When I was doing the uh, flashback newscasts uh, during my Wednesday night show, I relearned properly about the, uh, the fall of Saigon, the end of South Vietnam as a political entity. For those that are unaware of it, the Vietnam War, there's a, there's a, there's a lot to it. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail for it. But this week in 1975, Saigon fell to the North Vietnamese forces. And I have no particular... I have no particular connection to North Vietnam in any way, shape, or form. What I have, however, is a connection to the story after. Under cover of night, spearheaded by the USS Kirk, not very unlike Battlestar Galactica, a ragtag fleet of ships, anything that could hold people and be bailed out effectively left South Vietnam with as many refugees as they could carry. Now, I'm just out of work right now, so I don't have any of my notes with me. But this much I do remember. That flotilla set sail and steamed as hard as they could collectively for the Philippines from South Vietnam to somewhere safe relatively speaking. At the time, politically in power for the Philippines was Marcos, who was an ally, so to speak, or at least neutral with the United States. But the ships, the vast majority, were South Vietnamese, were all flying the South Vietnam standard the flag of the country. And Marcos did not want to piss off the new owners of South Vietnam, or as we would now call it, Vietnam. So, what happened in that moment is something that resonates with me. I grew up on Long Island. I was never more than growing up two miles away from the ocean. And my grandfather was in the Pacific Fleet Supply during World War II. So I have a very large appreciation for what happened next. Marcos did not want that fleet in his ports because they were South Vietnamese. So, the USS Kirk and various other ships that were with them collected all of the flags that they could so that they could make each of the ships transfer ownership to the United States. When you're in international waters, your ship is sovereign land. Your ship is wherever you are hailing your flag from, your ensign, your colors. So, in ceremony, all of the South, Vietnam, South Vietnamese colors 
were struck from the masts and replaced with the Stars and Stripes. The refugees on board all of these ships for one last time with one last voice sang their national anthem. The news reports, the history reports that you are going to be seeing through this week will no doubt talk about the fall of Vietnam, the loss of Saigon, the loss of life, civilian, military. They will not tell you that that was not the end of South Vietnam. She did not fall to bombs and bullets. She did not fall to the stroke of a pen. She fell in international waters. With the last of her people, giving it the respect it deserved. For any of you who are descendant from the Republic of South Vietnam, my heart goes out to you. And for those of you that have studied history and did not hear about this in your history books. It's okay. I mean, let's face it, there's only so much that you can cram into a book. There's so much nuance out there. I don't know why in particular I wanted to make this statement. I don't know what it'll accomplish. I just know that 40 years ago, several thousand people would be whisked out in the dead of night, hoping to be saved. And they had no way of knowing that just a few days from then, they would be the last of their country. Some of us are too young to really appreciate what it means. Some of us that lived on the water. No. Stay safe. We'll talk again sometime.